In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to set up our plot stamp. So let's go to plot, and we see here that we have a checkbox that says plot stamp on, and if we check it, we now have the option to modify our plot stamp settings. We click that button, we see that we can define which fields we would like to include. And right here we have drawing name, layout name, date and time, login name, device name, paper size, and plot scale. And you can pick whichever one you would like to have as part of your plot stamp. You could also create two user defined fields. So for example, I can add, and there's not any here now, so I'm going to tell it to add a new one. And for the, my user defined field, I'm going to say drawn by Mike Williams. Okay. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to tell it to use that for user defined field number one. Tell it OK. And let's look at a preview of our plot. We see down here in the bottom right, it shows our path including our drawing name. It shows the date. It shows the time. It's even showing the uh, plot style that we're using or the PC3 file that we're using. Our scale and it's added this drawn by Mike, Mike Williams. I'm going to exit out of the preview. Go back to edit. And I'm going to go ahead and take device name off. That's I'm not really interested in that. And I can also go and look at advanced. And under advanced, this is where we define the location of the of the plot stamp. And it sets the bottom right currently, but we could move it to any of these. And right now it's set to be vertical, but we could just as easily make it horizontal. We can select our font, the height of our text. If we wanted to make sure that all the the information was put on a single line, if we need to offset it relative to the printable area or relative to the border to get it exactly in the place we would like it to be. We can define the units that our plot stamp is is being measured by. In this case it's inches. We can also write the um, plot stamp information to our log file by checking this box here and locating where that log file is located. We can also save all these settings that we created and define it as our new plot stamp perimeter file. So we could call this maybe office standard. And then anybody in the office, if they have access to that drive, can load all these settings so that whenever we plot, our plot stamps are all identical.